All right, well, hopefully we're back with another cooking video. My mic has been really weird re um, while trying to record this, so I hope this audio is okay. Please. Today's video is very basic, kind of. It does kind of have a lot of parts here, but not really because it's just a burger, but it's a very special type of burger. Like I kind of conceptualized this burger for a slider camp competition that's near me. That happens like every year for charity. Um, this was actually for last year, but I ended up getting COVID like right before and during, and during the time that the competition was taking part of, or taking part so I couldn't do it. But I've always had this, kind of, this recipe kind of just in my notes on my phone waiting for me to try it in a way. I don't know why I waited, but like, I thought, why, why not I make it for a video? I, I knew it was gonna be good, but like, I didn't realize how good it was gonna be. I and mean, maybe biased a little, but not really. We have like three different parts to this burger. Um, one part I won't be showing you, which is the barbecue sauce, because that's kind of like, a specialty sauce like i'm trying to save that for something i mean if you guys want like a barbecue video it's very easy to make and kind of come up with your own but this one i kind of want to keep like hidden because this apple barbecue sauce is kind of really good you never know what could happen i could maybe some someday sell it which i try to and almost got in trouble legally anyway yeah, and then the other part is this apple coleslaw, which I do show you, which is very easy, and which is where we're gonna start off on this burger recipe. So coleslaw is very simple, usually. Uh, you can very, you don't need, you can get everything like at Walmart or your local grocery store pretty much. So, but like my coleslaw, I like to kind of, you can get like a coleslaw mix, but I like to like add certain things like my basic coleslaw just to make it a little nicer um, obviously you have cabbage or the or like a plain coleslaw mix julian carrots and um baby spinach and then apples um red apples i, I don't know i think these were Nikita apples that i use you can use pretty much any red apple you want of your or if you like green use green might be a little weird with green because of how sour green is. If you do use green, peel it for sure. Definitely peel it. I don't peel mine, and that's because of how we how I cut them, which we'll go into a little bit in, in a little bit in a little. Oh my god, English is hard. In a little bit, yeah. We'll start off with the apples for the coleslaw. But so basically, we're gonna cut them in like julienne style, which is like the carrots. In fact, I don't think I tried them yet, but a julienne is basically just think of like a match stick. That's very self-explanatory. That's very. That's that's basically it. So it's just a stick, like a like a sticky stick. Uh, I don't know. Basically, um, if you have one of those like apple slicers, you can use it. I couldn't find mine, so I just cut it like how I cut it, all around the core, and then into slices, and then into the juliennes, which is like I said, it's just a stick. Uh, it's just a fancy word, like the main chef word for. Stick? I don't fucking know. I don't make the words. It's a stick. Okay? It's a fucking stick. Um, I only used one. You pop, I mean, I do have three here. I ended up just eating the other two. I only used one in the coleslaw. You can use as many as you want, but cutting the apples, you might want to put these in. I put them in lime juice so they wouldn't brown right away um, because apples will, the, the, the inside will brown kind of like a potato or once it hits oxygen and it will go fast. So that, that acid from like the lemon or the lime juice will kind of stops that. Uh, for, it, for potatoes, it's water. You'll use this lime juice, kind of mix in with the um, coleslaw anyway. It gives a nice little zing to it. Um, I don't know how much exactly I use because I just kind of squirted uh, the, I have to look, one of those like little lime shaped lemon bottle, uh, lime juice bottles and I just kind of squirt it because you can like pour anything. I tried to get the cover off. Fuck that. I don't know. Yeah. And then after like the, the thing is cut, I kind of just added like a handful of spinach 
more like half of the character of, the, of, the, of this bag of characters. I can't remember how many ounces it was. Maybe I can go look honestly, but I have no idea. I used like half the smallest bag of like julienne carrots and then the full bag of like the coleslaw mix or whatever it's cabbage um but yeah and then i have this like poppy seed dressing that i always have used for coleslaw it is so good um and yeah it's just fucking good it's just really fucking good i really enjoy this uh, the sauce and it works well with the apple. It's like cream. I don't know how to explain it. It's very different um, from like a salad dressing, um, but it's very good. If you guys, if I find that at Walmart in the salad dressing aisle. That's the coleslaw mainly. You just mix it up, mix, mix, mix it up. Um, this recipe also, I used a very little amount of meat, not like a lot, because I, I figured I would just make this for like lunch for myself or for my mom. And yeah, it made three patties. It made three patties, so it's not bad. I have two still in my freezer. Also, at Walmart, I found these like pretzel buns that you just heat up in the microwave and they're so fucking good. Oh my God. Find these pretzel buns at Walmart. The bun makes the burger and this burger was so good with this pretzel -y bun shit. I don't fucking know. It's, it's a bun with pretzels. I like pretzels. No, I don't. Why did I say that? I don't know. I just microwaved it for like 30 seconds and then toasted it, which you'll see in a bit. Coleslaw's pretty much done. You just wrap it up, let it chill in on the refrigerator and on the burger. So when you're making like homemade burgers from like ground meat, um, you need like a binding agent. Um, I like to use panko and or like breadcrumbs and egg. You can use either or. I like to use both because it gives a nice little flavor, kind of like meatloaf. -y. Meatloaf, you do normally use breadcrumbs and egg. So it's it's kind of like a personal preference for me. But yeah, this is where the apple pieness of this burger kind of comes in into making the meat. So we season it with. Salt, pepper, did I, did I use anything else? Salt, salt, I think, you know, salt, pepper, panko, egg, and then apple pie seasoning, which is just all spice, nutmeg, and cinnamon. No, it's a little weird, right? But yet, it is so good. And a little hint, you making this, you need to taste, you need to taste it for seasoning. So just tear a little bit off, put it on a plate, like a minute, so it's done and you taste it and, and I did that and then needed a little bit more salt and a little bit more of the apple pie seasoning so I added more did it again and it was perfect and then I made three patties and yeah um but yeah and then um that was pretty much it I guess you just make uh, well I mean besides making the actual patties you know Flatting them out and shit, and all that jazz. Yeah. Yeah, so we make the patties. Um, the one thing I will say, when making homemade burgers, your pan, if you're making it on a pan, like inside, or you don't need to, or if you're making it on the grill, this doesn't apply to the grill, but like, I mean, it kind of does, but not really. Get the pan hot. You want a nice sear on this patty. You want the pan really hot, which is kind of what I did. I waited it for it to get hot, and then you can hear it. I'll probably unmute it. You can hear it as soon as it hits. It just, it gives a nice crust on the top of the burger, and then you flip it, it'll give a nice crust on the bottom as well. I kind of do show the crust as well when I got on this patty, and it was like perfect. Perfect. But what you are looking for, you know? I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not Italian. You know, like, give me the gabagool. I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, burger complete. I like mine medium rare to medium rare. My meats, my steaks, all that, so. I kind of cooked it, I, I did cook it a little bit over, I'm not gonna lie. But, you always, this is one big thing when it comes to like these like, kind of canned pressed burgers, 
is you have to let them rest. I usually let them rest as long as they cooked. This one kind of cooked like five-ish, six-ish, five to six minutes. So I let it rest for like five-ish minutes. When I started to build, when I built the, the burger, that you saw in the thumbnail, that's right here. Or the, you know, building it and then um, the cross section. This burger was a little messy. I'm not gonna lie. I did sh uh, shout out to the special guest. My mom came through. She tried it. I had her mouth watering when I was making this. So like, she, she really wanted to try it. She tried it and um, she rated it like an 8.6 or something like that out of 10. I gave it. I give myself like a like an eight. <laughs> um, it was good. It was really good. I just think. I don't know. I don't know what I could have done it better. Maybe less messiness. Maybe more toast on the bun. But I was like, I just wanted to get it, this, this burger in my mouth. You want me? You know what you want me? Yeah. It's kind of like the apple pie burger. I know it's like not only really an apple pie, but it has apple pie seasoning in it. Seasonings in it. And it sounds good. It sounds eye catching. Like, what the fuck is an apple pie burger? I'm gonna go watch that because what the fuck, you know? Like, yeah. um, why am I doing? It? I don't know, but you never know. It, you try this, you have to let me know because this was really good, and the pretzel bun really made it. Like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing there, but like, it was that good, and probably one of my favorite burgers. Who knows? I might actually still use this for. The competition this year if I even do it um, but I might do it with pork so I feel like my um, barbecue sauce would be really good with pork I don't know something I'm gonna have to try but yeah if you guys want that barbecue sauce video like a basics on how to make your own barbecue sauce this video gets like 15 likes I'll do it it's pretty easy pretty self-explanatory and barbecue sauce so leave a like if you want you guys, really, I, you guys have been loving these videos, so thank you um, for that. Um, there might be another, another video that I up uploaded, like right here, probably covering my face. And subscribe over there, so we'll do that. And, um, bye.